Hello comrades, lots to do, so let's get it started. And um, just as a reminder, we are only two years into this uh, series. So uh, I picked it up in, I think, 64. And now we are in 66. Uh, but I want to keep the pacing up and the planning. The tunnel took a really long time, but now we are in the next stage. And I will do something to the harbor because Teapot says it. <laughs> no. Um, Teapot had a good idea, and I actually have the same idea. I will move the harbor here to the left because I can also provide a second harbor here if I want to. So I also will move the power situation a little bit to get it out of the way because power is always in the way. But yeah, great import teapot. And um, just to clarify, I watch other streamers because they have great ideas and inspirations how to give me inspirations how to play the game. And I also try to pass on ideas and inspirations how to play the game. You can agree or disagree, both are fine. Uh, but you have to value other ideas and uh, Teapot did it in a nice way so his input is uh, recognized and this is the Soviet Republic after all so <laughs> citizens first uh, yeah mm. so you are fine to disagree but uh, there's a fine line be between disagreeing and backseating I think um, yeah so ideas are welcome but please don't push me too hard and you are doing it wrong because I don't like it this is not a valid argument Okay, so I just I also want to extend the fuel situation here. So if I have uh, fuel coming in here and fuel pumping in here, I can also have a fuel station going out here. Hmm? <laughs> yes, um, as long as it isn't finalized, I can uh, do it. And the longer I think about things, uh, I always get better ideas. <laughs> Never stops. So luckily, at one point the tracks are laid in and I don't need to change anything anymore which will be good for us all so let's see this harbor can go away thank you you go away thank you also and we make it a little bit more to the left and a little bit more compact the design which are two great things this is also why I thought about it because we have here such a nice harbor area and if I take a little bit out of here, I can extend it uh, to a second harbor, which I maybe need, maybe don't. You will see. Okay. Um, getting this one straight is always a little bit uh, straight enough. And <laughs> mm. yeah, I will move the power situation a little bit and decouple it. So I, um, which is a better idea anyway. So I want to have a switch like here. And what's that hill? <laughs> Where do you come from, buddy? Okay, yeah. Um, so I take you away and. You also must go. I thought you there in a way. And you can go. Thank you. Okay. So nice harbor situation here. And uh, let's search for the harbor. The right one, please. The left one or the right one? Is the left one the right one? Uh, no, the right one is the right one. Okay. On the theme of more compactness, let's go like here. Hopefully you are straight, somehow aligned to the whole situation here. Yeah. Mm. 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 Um, we still don't know, don't don't know what the grid is here in this republic. So, next thing. And sometimes um, I also like to play around and try around 
stuff. That's why if I play solo, my games are way slower than I presented on camera. Even though you think, oh, he can get stuck on something or another, which is valid. But um, I'm stuck there for a reason. So, <laughs> you know, I don't want to show you some magical gameplay where bada bing, bada boom, everything works out this first time and I'm um, super duper. And if there's a problem, you tune in into the next episode and there is magically no problem. And we never talked about the problem because, hey, <laughs> no, I just want to portray uh, gameplay, which you also will experience and maybe enjoy if you play workers and resources or hate. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's really the goal. I think I need to join in here to this party. Because my storage was that length. Length. Um, yes, 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 yes. Okay. Um, pop, pop, pop. Give me the right one. And if you have aligned one building, every other building falls into place in an angled fashion. Which I told you before, that for example, these buildings are not in a 90 degree angle or same angle as, as these buildings. And these maybe also have a slightly different angle or haven't, I don't recognize. I think the aesthetics comes if you have one block of buildings in a certain angle and another block of buildings in another angle. And then it looks organic and aesthetic, <laughs> which is not so easy to achieve. And also it is pure taste, so it's my taste. Um, you can build with the grid and everything is fine. Um, really it is. So, okay. So we have the harbor situation here cleared, which is, an, uh, I think, a nicer setup. Also, I always like compactness. I built, for example, this tower is only there because this one has the internal iron storage and I want to use the internal iron storage. So if I have a tower, it will be pushed into the iron storage. If I haven't a tower, it will not be pushed. It will simply fill up this one. So it gives me additional storage. Uh, on the contrary to this situation here, for example, here only this storage is full, but they are not full because there's no engine. So they only pull if it needed. And if I wouldn't have an engine here, it also would only pull if it needed. So this is a nicer setup for me. Okay, so an engine is needed. I, I try to always, uh, I have a certain, <laughs> coming back to aesthetics, my aesthetic is build as little as possible, as functional as possible. And there comes for me the certain aspect of beauty into it. Um, there's a beauty of not building stuff, especially if we are on a tight, still a tight money situation or a tight time situation. If you have the money also, Overbuilding leads to <laughs> spending a lot of time and achieving nothing. Who wants that? Okay. Good. So let's make something smart here. Mm -hmm. I think we... Let's see. Mm -hmm. This could be become a problem. Remove the point, it could be in the way, but who knows. I could... Something like this. And join you here, but... Ooh. Then I have problems here with them folks. Because, yeah. I want I want them all to join and then uh, go up into this. So if a train c 
goes left or right, it has the full choice of taking every direction. So I have uh, three waiting places and I will use one waiting place to get coal in and out. And the other two should be free for, for example, for steel loading. So maybe we need to make a little bigger swing here. problematic for the signaling. Let's see. After some time you spent with the game you know you'd know where it hurts. And here it hurts. Okay. Delete it a little bit more than I wanted to. Uh, we are more gentle. Give me pain. Or give me a point. One of them too. Um. Mm -mm. Ah, so sad. Because I like to look off this one. Um. Let's try to fix the other side first, so maybe... But this should be enough. Okay, that's enough. So... How would we approach this one? We want to have... Huh? Let's pull you out. And then move you in. Yes. So here we should have way enough space for points. Okay. So everyone could branch off. This the second one is more cosmetic because I don't like to have non-connected lines. So I could also do it with one line. Um Yeah. Hopefully you don't fall off the cliff here, buddy. It looks okay. Okay, and lock you in. Uh going further with some preparations for the next things to come. I can sort out my construction office situation a little bit to make uh, not so convoluted. So uh, the buses on the are on the other side, so I can move the big bus bureau also to the other side. Um, so I have two small bus bureaus, which will get some something additional. Let's get rid of uh, the headlines. We don't need them. Okay. So. Uh, bus and crane is the new style of construction and uh, here we have a dedicated road construction office which does nothing else than to create bay fronts and do not need any people uh, 3000 meters paved roads and uh, can also do footpaths if he wants to but we only have one study next so if you do uh, he will do the roads one by one by one Maybe we will extend it to a second Stalinek, but um, I think I can also pull in the excavators for footpath if I, if I have massive amounts to do. And these are all over the place here, so let's see. I want to make them dedicated so I have a little bit better overview what we have and what we don't. So here are two dumpers in... Is also a little bit of everything. Let's move the dumpers in here. Bleh. Oh, 
Hopefully they are not on the job somewhere. The escape button is also fine. Fun. <laughs> um, the escape button sometimes closes the last window and sometimes doesn't. Which is always a great surprise for everyone involved. I work a lot with the escape button, especially in games like uh, OpenTDD. Uh, I think it was the backspace button, something. But they have a very good window management. Okay. So, this is Dumperville. Next one would be, I think, Concrete Mixer will. Um, we have no free spaces here. And the last one is for the excavators. So your new home is here. And uh, your new home is here. And you know what I say next. Yep. Good. Hopefully I got them all, but we will see. So this is... Last one is excavators. This one is open. And this one is concrete mixers. So, we have open, open, open. Let's time run a little bit so they sort each other out. You don't want to sort, sort of... Hmm? Didn't I have... You? Three? Ah! And one thing I recognize between the games... Uh, oh, stop. I have assigned the... Uh, distribution office to uh, this one and guess what <laughs> yeah, I think you know what I mean um, you offender uh, please um, go here So. Mixer and mixer. You and you. One for the excavators, and the other one for here. It's just, you know, to have a little bit more clear clarity what's going on here. The heck. <laughs> I usually have a big construction office where I bundle these three and the excavators together. But we play vanilla. No reason to change it. I also have one here. I want to add a little bit of busing here, so it's the B1000 bus. And here it's the Polish one, I think. You can also take personal cars, which is a step too far. <laughs> um. <laughs> ah, hello. You don't... Hmm? Oh, I think I avoided the worst. Uh, oh, it's a different one. Maybe it's on the way. Okay. Good. Let's make sure that they have assigned the right sources. You don't need it, but get it anyway. Okay.
Okay. Wird gut. Um, the big crew gets a big crane, which is unusual for me. Um, and also a force bus, I think. So they can be very fast. Usually the fastness of the small crew is enough. So uh, this... Oh, sorry. Scrolling. Uh, this crew does uh, 100 work days a day with the crane and the crew. Again, no grass. What the heck? Mm. Game. Please save stuff. Okay. I like my grass. Um, mm -mm. So the big crew is faster, so it uh, because it will pull in more people, so I need a bigger crane. Speed level of the crane, I did several uh, videos on them. <laughs> it's uh, fascinating. Oh, what? I want a tower crane. Uh, tower crane, yeah. And I go, can go for the cheapest, because the cheapest is way more than we need. Okay. And if I want to have the big boys on stage, I will get the big boys. Mm. But mostly I wa will not want the big boys. <laughs> because uh, they are draining out my workforce, and my workforce is also there to make me got them money. So, take it here. Deliver it here and go there. Hopefully it works. And we don't take uranium. We take a vehicle and we unload and we wait and we go. Okay, good. So that situation is sorted out. Um, you go only if you have a right. You are not on auto search, but you can be. 3000 meters. No roads, but other stuff. Okay. You are on auto search, 1000 meters. I can have everything. Also. Uh, mm. See. Yeah. Okay. Good. So this situation is sorted out. Hopefully the tower crane comes with. Ooh. I have a mixed office here. Hmm. Okay. Ah, no, that's the road office. Ah. <laughs> Stay on topic, Dennis. Um, good. The situation is sorted out. My knuckleheads are hopefully doing their job. I don't think I get any more collisions because I signaled it up and they have their uh, separate strengths. So this is the optimal working situation for dumb labor. Mm, sorry, but I said it. Um, yeah. Not the most smartest uh, things on the world, these things are, but yeah. It's the... I don't know. Stop it <laughs> before it gets worse. <laughs> Just say uh, yeah. Okay, next topic is a little bit uh, different. So um, our pumping situation is not super fast and I want to make a change. So I assign them here with the workers with the workers <laughs> this was too German for me even um, yep and I say you can have passengers and because there will be nobody because there are enough jobs of the oil refinery type um, I say to you you get to the refinery and to this one so they will stop here and wait for an hour. If nobody picks them up, they will go somewhere else, which is totally fine. It's a little bit less um, less efficient, but I think this town has shotgun town has efficiency to the max. So yeah, around hundred people working here, which is uh, we are on go on spot on, so to speak. Okay, okay. Um, here we need to be spoken people. Let's assign them to everywhere and hope for the best. What could go wrong? <laughs> ah! Game does not want to pull me a... Okay. Um, are you where... Oof. 
Again, no construction offices here. Two here. Looks messy. Yeah. What? Did I do this? Really can't remember because I cleaned them up. Six. You are general. And seven. You are people. So, honestly, I... Uh, I don't know where it all got so wrong, but it did. Okay. This pump has no road connection. I remember, yep. What? Oh no! <laughs> um, yeah. Everything is shiny. Looks like that. Yeah. We need to make money anyway. Okay. Good. So... You have missed a comrade? Ah, uh, guess who? <laughs> also enemy of a state with this bitumen. Bitumen. Um, but, but we have more. Just throw buddies at the problem. Okay. Good. Happiness of them all. 90%? <laughs> it becomes a travesty. Imagine there are some pro players who have towns which have 70% average happiness. Mm, yeah. But maybe they are drunken as heck by people. I say. Um, okay. So, let's get to the elephant of the room in the room. This bridge here. And it is a little bit tight on the height side. He has a very inappropriate mast. <laughs> so he wants to have a clearance of 17 meters. And uh, the biggest ship on the roster, which I can buy here in a small depot, uh, needs a clearance of... Let's see. It's this one. It needs a clearance of 21 meters. I don't know if he can reach it. If he reach uh, above 17 meters, uh, so our uh, little barge here can sail along, because we need the we need here some iron. And le first we export it from the border. We can also pull in if we export iron from the border. We can also pull in here some gravel um, to make our trip worthwhile. I also like as a plan. So let's see. You are in the way. If you're out of the way. And uh, these ones I don't need anymore. These are this is my raw bauxite bo bypass. And who would export raw bauxite, you know? Okay. Okay. So let's clean the situation a little bit up. Try to make a straightish coastline. Yeah. 
a little bit eroded, but eh, Soviet Union. Go down here and go flat. Okay, here's some room to play with. Let's start first. I want to... Optimally, I want to have a bridge which goes a little bit more like the road goes here. But I think it's not achievable, so... Make the bridge like this one here. What is the height from here to there? Um... 2.6 meters, okay. Good. So let's see. If I make a bridge... Go away. If I make a bridge very straight, it would be like this. And it's not straight, so I have no chance to... Okay. So I will put in the bridge more like Oh. Dead. Okay. Good. First we need to get on height. Collect some height. One, uh, one two, three, four, five. Uh, let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is enough meters. And if I start start on land here, should be able to pull something out. Six. Okay, so um, this is just for measuring purposes, mm. but I need another bridge type, I think. Let's see. Um, we have here a bridge height of ooh, 20 meters. The new bridge which would be also inappropriately small if I go with that. Um, I think we can also go by capacity. And we go by cargo ship. Okay. So, you bugger. Uh, this, ah, it's a tanker. Mm, the Volgo Garage. 2000. Tons. Uh, modded, not modded. Hopper, which is ours. This one. I think if everything goes wrong, uh, we also can deal with you. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm fine with 20 meters. The Volgograd. Uh, not in this playthrough. <laughs> okay. Also, a more sane decision when it comes to cost. So we need to... Hmm. Maybe we lose some height. No, we don't. Could gain some height. Yeah, okay. Um, I want to end this bridge. Here is a mountain and I want to, to make use of them. So we have here terrain which is more bridge friendly like on the other side. Let's go a little bit up. Mm. 
Hmm? Not so bad. Take a look. It really is so good that they introduced the tape band tool. Thank you for that. Really um, glad. Um, because bridges were all over the place back in time. So, what do we have? Oh! Oh. 26 meters. So we are higher. Which is interesting. Um, just escape too fast. We only need 20. A good problem to have. So... Oh, something is wrong with my counter, I think. Why am I... Let's see. So, do I read it wrong? 26. Yeah. Because I thought it increased. Latin. How would you like this one? Yeah, 23. No, this <laughs> is still 23. And 21, going there. And you see, like I said, more bridge friendly. And, yes, that's the height we want to have. Yeah, looks like it. Let's get a building out so we can flatten a little bit more to the... Wow. It's big. Um, yeah. It goes deeper to the coast if, if you do this one. Okay. Good. So we have our bridge start and end point. Let's get the real bridge out. The bridges have different spans, and this one, for example, is a bridge which has a really good span. Hopefully, you go the right way. Mm. Mm. Okay. I get you. Um. Let's go from here. One, two, three, four, five, six. To here. Okay. And let's check the heights. The spans looks good. Uh, they can also vary if you pull them out or in. So... 20? And 20. And the good old Volgograd will not go under it. But hey, some sacrifices have to be made. So now comes the fun part. How we get up here and I could have made a ramp or a hill, like on the other side, but I don't like it. So I make something different, um, which is a snake. <laughs> snakey, snakey. We go on here and we take our bendy bridge. One, two, and bend me. One, two. Uh, but I think 
I think. I don't know. I think it's passable. The last part is a little bit steep. Let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three, two. You can only go two higher, which is interesting. Yeah, I think the last part being steep is not avoidable. But it's nice enough, so it's a very compact design, which I always appreciate. Um, the big downside is this design needs to be built in several stages and building bridges, uh, you know what. Um, effort. So lock you in before something terrible happens. Okay, let's fix the situation here. Um, we still need our fuel to come in. F4. Ah, here you are. Good, good. So yeah, ah, this one looks a little bit dangerous. <laughs> good that it isn't long for this world. Okay. Um, and further on we go. Give me green. Comrade. So now we can have a nice straight piece here which does not look so bendy like the last one because now we have power of excavators and everything else so this one goes here and we can get rid of the rest of the hill a little bit um, let's get rid of the hill hmm? was the right one looks like it goes up yeah, game sometimes does funny stuff. Okay. And my favorite one is moving tool. All came back to a natural form. And we will have, uh, we will come out of this curve here, somehow. What? Ah, there's somebody out and about.
Smoothed a little bit. Because if we can make it right, we can make it right. These little, little, very erratic uh, hills are really causing bad roads to come. Causing bad roads to exist. Not that the roads will be super duper uh, on a perfect scale. This process will drive you and me mad, I think, but it looks way nicer than this one. Um, like I said before, uh, the first bridge needs to be getting done and has no power of the excavators on the other side. This is a little bit... Don't agree. Hmm. You have your bypass, yes. Oh, it will be horrible in the winter. Ah, I assigned you, so I don't need to go back. Um, yeah. And let's see. So you are now all general offices. And uh, you are your own thing. Then I have road crew, crane crew number one. We can let time run to stage. And number three. Okay. Good. Hmm. So much planning. Okay. So. This road is nearly done. Time-wise, we have nearly spent nothing of time, but I think it was a quite... A quite productive episode. And I hope you see you next time. Bye, comrades.